Hi guys, this is a review of Dynamic Human Anatomy, an artist's guide to structure, gesture, and the figure in motion by Ro Roberto Osti. Um, if you're interested, um, you can uh, like, follow, subscribe my channel. It helps out in terms of the YouTube algorithm. There are Amazon affiliate links provided below for this book and also some of the materials I use. If you decide to purchase these, using those links will really help me out as I get a small commission from Amazon, which is at no charge to you. And they also do not, um, yeah, they do not charge you. So, um, yeah, so anyway, let's go through this here book. Um, I don't know how long it'll be. I'll try to make it as short as possible. There is some nudity involved in terms of the drawings, um, but it's, I'm trying to cover up as much as I can for YouTube. Anyway, there's aesthetic anatom anatomy, aesthetic geometries, proportion landmarks, landmarks, flows and rhythms, interesting chapter, movement, hands, feet, sorry, hands, facial, measuring, you know, this is a, a fantastic book. Let's, let's get that out of the way. This is a fantastic book. It does some, you know, part with, with structure and all of that, and um, there's many good drawings here. This is really useful. It go, goes into classical proportion, the canons of proportion, etc. Um, shape movement and stuff like that. This is the part here where you really start to see a difference, where, where he starts to use relationship shapes to determine the, um, the fitting. So here he's using the, a technique called enveloping. Um, anyway, so we're on landmarks and muscle, muscular volumes discusses different landmarks he discusses okay the volumes etc um this is necessary in order to understand where where you're drawing from in terms of the parts um what is this the elbow joint okay this is a useful thing here you know well okay this and what he does is he put the bones against the drawing so you can actually see where it is so this is really useful for example the elbow gave me trouble sorry mosquito the elbow gave me trouble for years and not knowing that the olicon this is what this was you know really helped now freaking now seeing it really helped out i mean i was doing drawings and it just didn't show me where it was on the body you know so it really helped um he has a number of those diagrams as well so for example look at this the knee the patella okay you know this is where it is this is what you're looking at here this is what you're looking at here this is what you're looking at here it's it's a fantastic book um it's probably mine this and his other book are probably my number one books and here he uses landmarks and stuff in his drawings and you know he's working from simple proportional forms he's using the olicron okay fine and now he's building up his, his masses it's a simple way to to really you know get an understanding of it and it it really helps i mean the arm is is one of the most com especially this muscle here the brach brachiodurals with crossover is challenging um anyway he is i think he does medical anatomy as well so he's a medical but flows of the torso oh, shows you different flows and how it measures how it shoulder kind of rolls into it you get rhythms in different parts if you want to focus on them using flows and figure drawing that's fantastic yeah you know a lot of people don't talk about that tension and struggle in the figure look at this squish squash he shows you the con um con the posing movements the volumes This uh, classical, you know, so I think I've, uh, uh, yeah, as you see, I've used this book, it's why it's dirty, but you know, a better dirty book than not using it at all, isn't it? Than a, than a better dirty book than a dusty book, all right. Um, anyway, yeah, the hands again, very good approach, you know, showing you how to build it up simply. Um, wonderful, mm, look at those. Yeah. So this book is a five. Oh man. Oh. Let's maybe get off some of that. Oh. oh. I love 
of this book. How did this get this so dirty? Anyway, this is a fantastic, this is a great book to have. I wouldn't, wouldn't, would give it a five out of five. Um, I, I love this book. I love this book, but I don't like it to get dirty um, because it's such a, nice, a good book. Um, so yeah, five out of five for sure. Um, if there's any other, you know, stuff you need or comment, you know, I'll go into more detail. Thanks very much.